Were my feelings real back then, or were they manipulated? What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and a stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to Ascendants of a Bookworm. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you like to support the channel, we got channel membership, Patreon, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to Ascendance of a Bookworm Season 3, Episode 10, a.k.a. Episode 36. That was crazy how he totally thought he was going to just appear and save her, swoop her in. Powerful protective charm indeed. Prepare to become Sylvester's daughter. Bruh. She had to decide to be adopted right then and there. And then we see Ferdinand over here getting angry. And he's like, okay, I'm going to vent out my frustration with you, high priest. This is pretty cool, how she is protecting everybody with her mana. Oh, there is Sylvester. What took you so long, sir? Yo. Yo, he's taking command over here, taking charge. Is he the Lord? Yeah, what is this mess? Uncle! Is Sylvester a alias? Shut the front door. Shut the front door. Blessing, all right. Like, damn. So when Sylvester was like, give me your chefs and such, he's like, I'm the lord of this area. Give them to me. Jeez. She used her blood seal on the black stone hanging from her neck. It's too early for that. So he knew what that black stone was. Oh, oh dear. Dang. Everybody's kneeling down. So he was the Lord this whole time. I did not see that coming. He was just so... Not Lord-like. <laughs> mm-hmm. And she was automatically adopted, so she ain't no commoner anymore. Mm-hmm. He said, like, come here. <laughs> and what's that? Oh, attack the relative of this relative of the lord of this domain. Seize him. 
Oh, he ran into a trap, yo. What is the relationship between him and Ferdinand? Did they go to school together? Is that why they're so friendly, informal with each other? He was only doing what he was told. No accountability. Oh. Oh. I should have seen that. No wonder. They're brothers. <gasps> He's an illegitimate child? Coaxed you into adopting mine. Wow. Sylvester's probably thinking how mine is very beneficial to have. While wow, this guy, he's been so selfish. Tears. Oh my gosh. Really? Oh, cast aside any attachment. Cannot turn a blind eye anymore. <gasps> Death penalty? Dang. Death penalty. So this is another reason why Ferdinand has some hostility towards him. Don't feel sympathy for her. No, don't spare Delia. She's gonna betray you over and over and over again. She is easily influenced because she's been through so much abuse before. Ugh. You may decide her punishment. Return to the orphanage. That's her punishment? You're back in the orphanage. The place that you didn't want to be at once upon a time. Oh, finalization. It's so weird because I was saying before that there's like a blue hair theme going on between mine, Ferdinand, and Sylvester. And it turns out that Ferdinand and Sylvester were related this whole time. And now mine's going to be the adopted daughter. And she's going to be kind of related to Ferdinand. Dang, that dude over there. I really, I really thought Arna was like a sneaky dude. Yeah, why didn't you? He gave like a smirk. Mm. Are they purposely betraying Arnold like that? Like, damn! Mixed signals! <laughs> How is it different? You're the beloved... Daughter? Huh. They're making a story for her. Oh. 
哦。Regarding your birth family, Sylvester is totally different. He's like in serious mode. Yeah, she really has to like stay away from her from her family to keep them safe too. And she has to have that backstory, right? So odd. It's sort of like she's going to be in. Was it the protective service? Or one of those things where you're a witness and you have to hide your identity, everything. Witness protective service. There you go. And they're bowing already. Mmm, Tootie wasn't ready. The commoner mind is now dead. Ha, oh, Tootie doesn't know the whole story yet. <gasps> Having all of you dealt with? So, Fester, you so different. What happened? You went into noble mode. What? Should we be able to see them? Announce that everyone to everyone that mine's dead. Oh, can't claim to be family. Treat mine as noble. Oh, that's going to be hard. Oh, I think that's harder than not seeing them. Let me know what you guys think. Tootie, good thing you have a little brother. Yeah, something might happen to the rest. Especially the little baby brother. Mm. I'm just saying, I think seeing but not being able to touch is harder. Out of sight, out of mind is easier for me. Oh! Once you become a professional seamstress, send you my clothing orders. Oh! They're gonna have like a secret relationship when they get older, and people are gonna wonder why do you guys work with each other? How do you know each other? Why do you always keep a relationship with these commoners? You could have a re you could have like a seamstress. From like this area that's like well known for blah 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 blah. And then secretly they're sisters. Oh no, and I won't hear this anymore. It's so sad. I love you too, Mama. She's been practicing. Oh, the way she asks that. I bet she's going to make all kinds of stuff in his name. He's sorry he couldn't protect her. I 
I want to marry someone who will protect me just like you. Oh. Oh. I'll always be your daughter. Is she going to be like... Is she going to be the next lord though? Restrain yourself. Oh, she looks so happy. She looks very magical girl. This is like a blessing. Oh, yeah, they don't normally see her using her mana. I offer you my heart, my prayers, and gratitude. Repay them with your divine protection. Oh! Healing? The power to ward off evil. Endure hardship. Is she gonna faint after? That is one big blessing. Oh, is that the first time we see him like smiling at her? Oh, so will this like also make them forget about her? Because that'll be easier, right? If they forget about her. Oh, Rosamine. They were ready to kneel. Rosamine. That is very noble sounding. He's like, bye bye. I didn't notice, but her sash matches her flowers. Ooh, that reflection effect. Nice touch. So that's the outfit she was wearing in the intro. The story to be told is over. But after that... This must be where Mind's grave is. How interesting they actually follow through with it. Well, they had to because of the contract. I guess Mind really isn't here. Well, he should have been on the contract too. Oh, if you got time to cry. Books. They need to honor her memory with books. I'll need you to guide her as sternly as possible. 
make hair accessories as Mrs. Car uh, Miss Karina's. Oh, you're going to make hair ornaments? Don't forget her name is Rosamine. Rosamine. Oh, he is looking like a noble. So is she. Now she can make books as much as she likes. She's free. She's going to go crazy. Are we going to see her new home? So is she going to like call Sylvester dad? I'm just saying. Oh, this picture! Man, this episode was so good! Like, this totally, like, closes one part of the story and opens another. Oh, man! The arc with the church is done. And now she's a noble. Ah, oh. And the part where... They have the family sign the contract where they're saying that mine died and uh, they're going to treat her like a noble, like they don't know her. Dang. But it's kind of weird that afterwards where Lutz is like any word, it's, it doesn't make it feel like the separation is dire, which I want to say kind of defeats the purpose of that scene. Because it was, it was pretty emotional. It's sort of like you're saying goodbye thinking you'll never see each other, but you will see each other. It, it's like, were my feelings real back then or were they manipulated? <laughs> and that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, oh. let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there is a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reacting to Ascendance of a Bookworm Season 3, Episode 10, aka Episode 36. Hope you guys like this video and we'll see you on the next one. Laters!